In this video, I'm going to show you an algebraic method for completing the square. It's a really great method for um, the exam questions when it asks you to express the quadratic in the completed square format, like this question here. So what you need to do first is take the form that they want you to write it in and expand those brackets, okay? So remember squared means multiply by itself, so you need to multiply that bracket 4x plus a by itself. And I'm also going to write down the plus b because I don't want to forget about that letter later on. So I'm going to multiply the brackets starting with 4x multiplied by 4x, which is 16x squared. Next, 4x multiplied by a is just 4ax. Then a multiplied by 4x is the same thing, so 4ax. And lastly here, a multiplied by a is a squared, and not forgetting to write down the plus b. Next, I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit. I can simplify the x terms, so I'm going to add those together. If I add 4ax with 4ax, I have 8ax, and everything else stays the same, so a squared plus b goes at the end. What you have to do next is compare the coefficients of this expanded form with the quadratic as it was given at the beginning of the question. So I'm just going to write this out again over here, 16x squared minus 24x plus 10, and I'm going to put it equal to the brackets that we've just expanded and simplified, okay? Because remember, we're just expressing this in a different form, so they're equal to each other, okay? That's why I can write this equation. So when we compare the coefficients, what we're doing is we're just looking at the number in front of, for example, the x squared on the left-hand side and comparing it with the number on the right-hand side that's being multiplied with x squared. So they should always be equal to each other because remember, the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Okay, so we can expect 16 to be the same as the number on the right-hand side, which it is. Now let's look at the coefficient of x. So the number that's being multiplied with the x. On the left-hand side, it's negative 24. On the right-hand side of the equation, it's all of this here, 8a, positive 8a. All of this is being multiplied by x. It's the only thing that's being multiplied by x. This is an x, this is x squared, and there's no x term over here. So remember, these have to equal each other, okay? So let's write that down, let's form an equation. Negative 24 must equal 8a, okay? If this equation is true. So now we have a simple equation that we can solve to work out the value of a. If I divide by eight on both sides of the equation, I get negative three. So we've already worked out the value of a in this exam question, okay? Next we're going to do the last part, so work out the value of b. So you have to look at the number by itself without the x. Okay, so on the left hand side, this is the number 10. On the right hand side, it's all of this here, a squared plus b. There's no x term here. So this number 10 has to equal all of this, a squared plus b. So I'm going to write that down and form a second equation. So we've got two unknowns here, so it's difficult to solve this equation, but we just worked out the value of a up above. So what you can do next is substitute that value of a, negative three, into this equation, and then we can solve the equation to find b. So I'm going to replace a with negative three. If I square negative three, I get positive nine. And then if I subtract 9 on both sides, I get 1, because 10 to equal 9 is 1. So b is equal to 1. So we've worked out the second unknown. So if you want to write it in this form now, all you would have to do at the end is just substitute negative 3 into here and positive 1 into here, so that we've written it in the form that they ask for.
So in this exam question, we're going to use the same method that I just showed you to express this quadratic in the given form. So we need to start by expanding the brackets on the right hand side. So to do that, I'm just going to leave this number two at the front as it is for the moment. And I'm going to expand everything that's inside the square brackets. So this square just means I'm multiplying these brackets x minus a by themselves. Don't forget to write down your plus b here. And now we can start multiplying out the brackets. So x multiplied by x is x squared. x multiplied by negative a is negative ax. Negative a multiplied by x is the same thing, negative ax. And then negative a multiplied by negative a is positive a squared. Don't forget the plus b. Okay, now we can simplify what's inside the square brackets because we have two x terms here that we can add together. So the x squared stays the same. Negative ax take away another ax is negative 2ax. And the a squared plus b remains the same. Okay, one more thing we're going to do to get rid of the brackets is to multiply everything by 2. Okay, so 2 multiplied by x squared is 2x squared. 2 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 4, so we have negative 4ax. Then we have 2 lots of a squared, oops, I forgot to write the plus there. And then 2 multiplied by b is 2b. Now, remember the next step is to compare the coefficients with the right hand side that we've just expanded and simplified with the quadratic given at the start of the question. So I'm going to form an equation and I'm going to put this equal to 2x squared minus 8x plus 14, okay? Because remember, it's exactly the same thing, we're just writing it in a different form. So as expected, the 2 in front of x squared is the same, okay? Remember, the coefficients have to equal each other. Now let's look at the coefficient of x. So the number that's being multiplied by x on the left hand side is negative 8. And the number that's being multiplied by x on the right hand side is all of this, negative 4a. So they must be equal to each other. So from there I'm going to form my first equation. Negative 8 must equal negative 4a. And then I can solve this equation to work out the value of a. So if I divide both sides of this equation by negative 4, negative 8 divided by negative 4 is positive 2, so a is equal to 2. Okay, so now we're going to compare again to work out the value of b. So this time I'm comparing the constant on the left hand side with the constant on the right hand side. So the part without any x on the left and the part without any x on the right. So I'm just going to draw a line here to separate my working. So 14 has to equal 2a squared plus 2b. Now the next step is to substitute in the value that you just worked out. Remember that a is equal to 2. So we can replace the letter a here with the number 2. So if we do that, we then have 14 equals 2. Then inside the brackets, we've got 2 squared plus 2b. Okay, so 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is 4. And if I multiply 4 by 2, I get 8. So now the equation becomes 14 equals 8 plus 2b. And now I'm just solving this equation to find b. So first, I'm going to subtract 8 on both sides. So I've got 6 is equal to 2b. And lastly, I'm going to divide both sides by 2, so that 3 is equal to b. Okay, so at the end, you could just write it in the form they've asked for. So that just means replacing a with 2 and b with 3. So I'm going to do it over here. 2 and then the square brackets, x minus 2 little brackets and then plus b so plus 3. So that is the final answer to the exam question.